my souls, it's Mr. Fallon. Today's Wednesday. Today is going to be an awesome day because you're here on Good Morning Muscles and we're all ready to have a blast. Boys and girls, remember Good Morning Muscles is your daily kickstart for what's going to be an amazing day. It's uploaded every morning at 6 a.m. And it's Mr. Fallon's YouTube page. Wake up, do Good Morning Muscles, have fun, get stronger, and kick off your day in the best way possible. Here we go. Alright, it's time to get warmed up, and on Wednesdays we warm up with our hustle warm up. For our hustle warm up, you need your box, you need your jug. We're gonna set our box down right here. We're gonna stand by our box. We're gonna take three giant steps. One, two, three. Set your jug down. We're gonna start by this box. Mr. Fallon's going to give you a movement. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth. Every time you touch the jug or the box, you score a point. You're going to try to get as many points as possible. We're starting off with our first movement. It's going to be jogging. And your score that you're going to try to beat is going to be 50. Are you ready? And on the jug, on your mark, get set. Awesome. One, two, three. Four, going for 50, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep up, four, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, Awesome. Back, you got one, two, three, 
four, five, come on, hustle, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. How you do? Nice strong work, muscles. said you were sorry, Allison said as she walked past them. She sat up, 
straight in her chair, folded her hands on her desk, and waited for everyone else to wander in. Jason entered the room carrying a glass bowl of a goldfish from the inside. Look what I brought, he said. What's the name of your goldfish? asked Mrs. Jules. Shark, said Jason. Evelyn laughed. Allison rolled her eyes. It makes him feel important, Jason explained. Where should I put him? How about on the top of the coat closet, suggested Mrs. Jules. Jason had to stand on a chair on his tips and toes. He held the bowl at the very bottom and tried to nudge it over the edge of the closet. Suddenly, the chair toppled over. Ah! Jason yelled as he fell to the floor. He was holding the ball upside down above his wet face. Mrs. Jules hurried to the back of the room. Quick, somebody fill the bowl with water, she said. Where's Shark? Jason made a face. I swallowed him. The class went crazy. What a show-off, thought Allison. Mrs. Jules rang her cow bell and told everyone to settle down. You have a bad case of the sillies this morning, she said. She took roll. Who's absent, she asked. Allison, said Rondi. Very funny, Rondi, said Allison. Anybody besides Allison, asked Mrs. Jules. I'm here, Mrs. Jules, said Allison. She sat behind Eric Fry, so she thought Mrs. Jules couldn't see her. Eric Fry was the biggest kid in the class. Just Allison, said Mrs. Jules. She marked it on her green roll card. Damon, will you please take the roll card to the office? Allison stood up. I'm not absent, she said. Damon took the roll card and walked out the door. Mrs. Jules, did you just mark me absent? Asked Miss, said S. Allison, Mrs. Jules didn't answer. Allison marched to her desk. Mrs. Jules, did you mark me absent? She asked again. Mrs. Jules looked up. Terrence, what are you whispering about? Nothing, mumbled Terrence. If you can't if you can say it to Jenny, you can say it to me, said Mrs. Jules. Get off my case, buzzard face, said Terrence. Terrence, exclaimed Mrs. Jules. Go write your name on the blackboard under the word discipline. But that's what I said to Jenny, Terrence protested. Mrs. Jules, what about me, Allison demanded. Mrs. Jules ignored her. Allison screamed as loud as she could. Mrs. Jules didn't hear her. Allison faced the class. Can't anybody see me, she asked. Nobody answered her. Rondi shouted Allison. Dana! Jason! This isn't funny, said Allison. I know you're all just pretending. She stood right in the front of Jason, leaned over his desk, and stared him straight in the eye. I know you can see me, she said. You're trying not to laugh. He stared right through her. She stuck out her tongue at him. He leaned forward, causing Allison's tongue to stick it, to lick his nose. Yuck, she exclaimed, then wiped her, no her tongue on her sleeve. Mrs. Jules began the morning lesson. Have you gone crazy, shouted Allison. She ran out of the room and down to the class on the 29th store. Come quick, she said. There's something wrong with Mrs. Jules's class. No one heard her. She slammed the door and continued down the stairs to the class on the 28th floor. No one saw her there either. Teams, tears streamed down her cheeks. Is the whole school playing a joke on me, she wondered. It's not funny, she shouted as loud as she could. She continued down the stairs, screaming anything that came to her head, hoping that someone somewhere would notice her. Fish for sale, fresh fish, fat fish, get your fresh fat fish. A tall, skinny lady with very short hair stepped out of one of the classrooms. Shh, she whispered. This is a school, not a fish market. You can hear me, asked Allison. She was so happy she wanted to hug her. Yes, I can hear you, the woman said sternly. My whole class can hear you. You're making it impossible for us to get any work done. I'm sorry, said Allison, but something's wrong in Mrs. Jules's class. You better come in here, said the teacher. Allison followed the teacher into her classroom. What's your name, the teacher asked her. Allison. Boys and girls, this is Allison, the teacher announced to her students. She'll be joining our class. What, said Allison, but... My name is Mrs. Zarvis, said the teacher. Welcome to the 19th story. Boys and girls are set for today. You know what time it is. What is it? Game time! Yeah! Alright, for game time this week, we've been working on soccer skills. We've been working on some soccer dribbling the last two days. 
If you missed it, go back, watch those episodes. So much fun. Oh my goodness, Mr. Fallon did this yesterday. Remember, when we play soccer, we're not allowed to touch it with our hands. Today, we're going to be working... Oh, we also worked on another soccer skill. We worked on this one where you stop the ball. We said this soccer skill is called trapping. We're going to need to be able to trap the ball very well today as well. Today, we're going to be working on a new soccer skill, which is going to be passing. When you pass the soccer ball, you want to try to pass it to a teammate. It's where you kick it to a teammate, but you want to do it soft. If you do it too hard, they're not able to get it and it doesn't help them out. Also, you want to keep it on the ground. If it goes way up in the air, your teammate can't get, catch it with their hands and put it down and dribble because they can't catch it with their hands. So you want to pass it so it stays on the ground. And the way that we're going to do that to pass it to stay on the ground is we're going to pass it using the sides of our feet. Either the inside of our foot or the outside of our foot. That will keep it on the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by passing it. And when it comes back to me, Mr. Fallon is going to trap it. Let's see how this works. I passed it and it comes back to me and I'm going to trap and I'm passing it with the side of my foot. If I'm doing it right, it should stay on the ground. I'm using the inside of my foot. Mr. Fallon's using his right foot right now, because that's which side he's best with. I can probably shoot a soccer ball. Oh my goodness, I'm missing. I can throw and catch with my right hand better. I can I right with my right hand. I cut with scissors with my right hand. So my right side's my best side. That just means that with my left side, what do I need to do more with? I need to practice with it more. And that way my left side will get better. So now I'm going to switch over and I'm going to try to pass it with my left foot. Using the inside of my foot. And when it bounces back to me, I'm going to trap it. I can trap it with my right foot or I can trap it with my left foot. Is your ball staying right on the ground when you're passing it? Using the inside of our foot. Very good. And now after we practice with that a little bit, now we're going to try to challenge ourselves and pass with the outside of our foot. This is a little more challenging. And keep it right on the ground. And trap it when it comes back. The outside of our foot. The best soccer players can pass with the inside of their foot and the outside of their foot and keep it right on the ground so their teammate can get a ball. And when it comes back, you trap it. Oh my goodness, the exercise bike trapped it. I think the exercise bike thinks it's better than Mr. Fallon at soccer. I'm going to try my left foot outside my foot. Oh, that was a stinky one. Way back over here, I got it. No worries. We'll dribble it back out. I can't pick it up with my hand. Soccer. Outside of my foot. That was better. And I'll trap it when it comes back. Keep passing and trapping. Now, boys and girls, if you have somebody at home to practice with, you can pass it to somebody, have them trap it, and then pass it back. And you can see how far away you can do it. So if you're able to do it really close, try to move back first. And see how far apart you can pass and trap. But remember, every time you pass it, you want to use the inside or the outside of your foot. It helps keep it on the ground. Boys and girls, practice it. Hey, did you have fun today? I know one person that had fun today. It's me. I had so much fun. I hope you had so much fun too. Boys and girls, make sure you come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be continuing to work on some soccer skills. We'll have a Miss Alexa warm-up. Uh, actually, tomorrow for soccer we're going to be working on some soccer juggling. So last week we worked on juggling with our hands. We're going to figure out how to soccer juggle tomorrow. It's going to be so much fun. But boys and girls, make sure you practice. Have a lot of fun today. Keep working hard. And just have the best day possible. And we will see you tomorrow.